Hi, I'm Laura with Rethunk Junk by Laura. Welcome to our two minute tutorial and today we're going to talk about the basics of painting. We've already prepped our piece. You can see we got the rag all dirty. That's our first step. Go back and find the two minute tutorial on that. Right now we're going to jump into painting. Our fabulous paint comes in three sizes, a pint, a quart, and an eight ounce sample size. Use a bristle brush with our paint, no chip brushes or foam brushes. This is our before picture of our piece. It's not a very big piece, so we decided we're gonna use a pint. You'll have plenty left over. We've already painted the base of our piece, and so now I'm gonna show you how to paint the top, and I'm just not a fan of dipping 100 times, so I'm kinda of slapping the paint on there in little blotches everywhere. Once you do that, come back in and I'm just making sure that every part of the top is covered with the paint. So we're just smoothing it out right now. And it's easy to do. You shouldn't have any brush strokes. It self levels. It'll look even better on the second coat. Usually takes two coats. This one will take two coats. Sometimes three if you're going over a really dark piece with a really light color. Once the paint is everywhere, then we start at one end and just go all the way across, from end to end, all the way off onto the side. You'll have drips on the edge, but you can get those later so that you have a smooth surface across the top. No brush strokes, and everything blends together as nicely as possible because the top of your piece is usually the focal point of your piece. Once we've got the top done, we're going to come back in and get all of those little edges. First coat's a little sloppy. That's normal. It's supposed to be messy looking. Once you come back in with the second coat, you'll be amazed at how much better it looks. This is our second coat going on. After you have painted it, if you turn a fan on, it will dry faster. Turn that fan on and get it dry in probably about 30 minutes. Give it a time a little bit longer to cure if you're doing a shiny piece like this. Be gentle with it for a little while because the paint takes a little while to cure, but is extremely durable once it's cured. We've got our second coat on the top now and our piece is going to turn out absolutely fabulous and once we've got all that done fix our edges up again let it dry then we distressed it and it is an absolutely beautiful piece when you're finished with your piece seal it with our flat top or our tough top look for our two minute tutorials on both of those products for more details that will give your paint even more durability happy rethinking.